What was your most I'm too old for this SH asterisk T moment? I installed TikTok. Went to a party Saturday night. I'm still hungover. The moment I realized I do not give a shit about getting invited to parties or being included anymore in big groups. I kid you not, I recently heard, you should become friends with Tressy, she throws great costume and theme parties. That sounds awful, I don't want to be Tressy's friend. Now Tressy and her friends want to be friends with me, because they can't figure out, why I don't care about receiving an invite to their parties. I'm too old for this shit. I'm in my 30s, too old for high school like popularity invites. I prefer my two good friends. When I got called a boomer on the internet. I'm 21. Was at a concert in a nightclub. My pregnant wife was at home. I had work the next day and didn't want to pay $7 for a crappy beer. I didn't feel like drinking or like fighting the crowd to be in the front. Why was I there? I did an Irish exit and got a good sleep that night. When my cow walker, known for gossiping and stirring the pot, texted me out of the blue and said we are not friends anymore, we are just cow walkers. I didn't even respond, just thought nope too old for any of this. I still don't know what I did wrong, and I don't care. Woman I saw for a few months moved in. She was upset at me for something, and just cold shouldered me for 2 days. This was a total 180 from how she'd been. It was like I had a flashback from when I was 15, and I thought nope. That won't fly after a decade, you're immature. I asked her to leave saying this isn't what I expected, I'm sorry to do this so soon, but whether you know it or not, you're punishing me, and won't say why. Not my responsibility, or my fault, I won't let it be my problem. I won't say how she reacted to how I ended things like that. I honestly did feel bad about forcing her to move back in with her old roommate so fast. 39 years old, I was in Afghanistan, going up a mountain with idiots shooting at me. Less than a month later, two days before my 40th birthday I was hit by a mortar. Funny thing was I found out my, now ex, wife cheated on me on the same day. When life hits you, it can hit you all at once. Working at her Amazon fulfillment center. Just turn 56, will be leaving them in the middle of February 2020, and I can't wait for that to happen. Just have to make it through peak. The reason I'm waiting until February, I can do the buyout and leave with her extra $5,000. The last time I stayed at a hostel, the people who go out and then come back in at like 2am and use their phones as a flashlight, plus the thin walls and even thinner mattresses mean no sleep. I'm young enough that I still wanna save a buck on lodging, but old enough that my back and nerves can't deal. Standing in a crowded club that smelt like a mixture of cheap vodka, B, O, and the fog from those fog machines. Girl drunkenly waves at me, hey can you take a picture of me and my friends? Home general wasn't wearing shoes. I just wanted to go home and sleep. I just moved back with my mom after college, until I get a job, so I can uh, get my own little place. I decided to get a haircut, and as I start my car she runs out the door, and proceeds to ask me where I'm going, and when I will be back. I can't wait to move out. I was working at Walmart. At that time I was 20, friend, more we were getting along well, with a 17 girl. One night I went to her place and we drank few cans of alcohol, likes men often should white girls drink, and I said that I was jealous of her, because she had a boyfriend, and I was single. Few days later, she told our group of friends and basically everyone at our job, that I said, that I wanted to have sex with her boyfriend. I didn't say anything. I stopped talking to her. I didn't need her high school drama in my life. I'm 31 years old, and was back visiting some old friends in Tampa. One of them is still in the hospitality business, and invited me to his place after his shift. When I pulled up in my truck there were a group of younger, 21 at the most throwing up in the front yard. I noped it right out of there. I was desperate for a part time job, so I applied at a trampoline park. They decided I would be a court monitor instead of a part of management. I soon found out my bosses were 17, 18 and the GM was 19. I was working another job that came with benefits, so I didn't give a shit about the bullshit trampoline job. I just needed some extra cash on the weekends. 
so I walked in one day after a 12 hour shift 10 minutes late for my monitor position. The 19 GM told me I was on the verge of being fired and if I lost this job my future would never be the same. I laughed and said damn I'll never be king here. He fired me for disrespecting a manager. That GM was right. That trampoline career for $9. 50 an hour could have changed my life, but I just went with my college degree. <laughs> Took my nephew, 7y slash old, to a movie. The theater was a part of a large shopping plaza. As we approach the theater he shouts, whoa look at that huge phone. I'm looking everywhere and see nothing matching his excitement. Where? What are you talking about? Right there. We're almost in front of the theater at this point, and I still can't find this amazingly large phone apparently in plain sight. We come to a full stop and he's slapping the plaza map with his hand. This, this has to be the biggest phone on the planet. Smartphone. He thought the plaza directory map looked like a damn smartphone. When I tried Vine, now it's just migrated to TikTok. Granted, some of the more legendary clips are hilarious, but I just don't have the sense of humor that 90% of that user base has. Lightning fast nonsense doesn't do it for me. I freaking love Legos. I went to Legoland on vacation to admire the amazing builds they make there, and I see kids of around 3 to 12 looking like they are having a blast. Everyone else has a face that clearly says get me out of here. I still love Lego, especially Lego architecture, though. Was hanging out with some friends at OEN of their houses. One decided we should go to the bar. It was loud, cold, front door was open for no good reason, and my hearing sucks. I ain't even old, just feel like I'm too old for the bar environment. Went to a Smashing Pumpkins concert last year. It was a fantastic show, but my god after 3 hours I was tired. I decided to call it a night about 15, 20 minutes before the end. I figured that I heard all the songs I wanted, and as a bonus avoided the after concert traffic. When I tried to play the new Halos, and CODs, and Battlefields, and Fortnites, and Titan Falls, and the game pace is just, wow. It's almost like, as if I was off my ad medication in my prime teen years, and had drunk two coffees. That's how I feel I would be able to be good enough and hyper enough to keep up with other players to enjoy these games. Was the game pace for these FPS always this high? I don't think so. I still play XGO, and although the game has gotten faster it's not so unruly as when I tried Halo 5. Halo 3 now in comparison feels a bit slow, without the power-ups, abilities, sprint, parker. I'm too old for this shit to explore another huge game, all its glitches and secrets and engine mechanics, to be able to compete at an okay enough level so as I'm not a punching bag for Mount Dew hyped up children who want to fuck my mother. I just want a nice campaign that I can explore at my own pace and not have to worry about my weapon unlocks all loot box pay to win upgrades or how I need to do 15 things in the next fives. I went to a cardio burn class at the gym. I was a few decades older than everyone else in the class. I modified the workouts at each station a bit and made it through feeling great. I went back the next week. I kept up on the group warm up portion and made more modification on the individual stations, but I thought maybe I was having a me or a stroke when it was over. I'm too old for that sh asterisk t. I went to Bolly X the next week. I was friends with a lot of the people at the student theater company I was part of, and when I graduated I went right into work and maintained close friendship with a lot of the remaining students. There was a teen couple with so much drama. I'm talking breakups after their happy one week posts are made, threatening each other with physical harm to get back together, blaming and related personal issues on the other, and so on. Both people looked up to me a lot because I was still in a healthy relationship with my own HS sweetheart and they wanted my advice for a lot of things. After graduating out of the company, I became a little detached from the drama. Only three years later, I got a slew of texts from someone involved in the drama who I haven't ever met before, claiming to have been traumatized by the couple and demanding I go to the police for them because I'm 21 and they won't listen to a child. My eyes rolled so far back I could have been sold at Walmart. My 40 year old friend got drunk as fuck at the bar and caused a scene. Screamed at me and her husband the whole way home. Got home. Alone. 
and her husband starts banging on my door at 230m to let him in. Husband was a cool dude, but I'm not messing around with that. I haven't seen either of them since. I'm in my 30s. I'm way too old for that nonsense. <laughs> Jumping on a backyard trampoline in my 40s. Back in high school and college I was a successful competitive diver and have spent countless hours both training and goofing around on trampolines. I figured I'd hop on there and show off for the neighborhood kids. Nope. It wasn't like riding a bike. I didn't have the same strength and balance anymore. I over-rotated a simple backflip and that was it. No way was I going to attempt anything actually thrilling. I used to meet with 3 old friends of mine to play Counter Strike and other games, drink and have fun for at least 2 weekends a year. That moment, when we decided to have a walk outside for some fresh air instead of going for some more frags. When I was in my 3rd degree in the UK, and at a huge school sponsored drinking event, a number of them were trying to get me to drink heavily as it was my first year there. I realized I'd had my first drink when most of these students were 9 years old. Was kicking around hourly temp jobs, because I didn't know what else to do with my life. Nothing was working out. One of them asked me to come back for the summer as they needed help. Unbeknownst to me, they'd spent the previous years picking off all their elderly staff and replacing them with teenagers. They assigned me a senior employee to shadow and watch over me, since I was technically still new. Kid looked 16 going on 12. I was 25. And that was my wake up call to get out of retail. Currently pregnant with my fifth baby. I'm 34. I know it may seem young, but after 4 already it has to have taken a huge toll on my body. I'm getting fixed right after delivery. This kid is gonna kill me. A few weeks ago, when my mom sat me down and asked my if anyone has ever touched me in my private parts before. No mom, I've never been molested. Also you should know, I'm 17, about to turn 18. They never bothered to have a talk with me, so I had to figure it out myself. When my ex asked to take me to a concert at our local stomping ground, and I thought about how much I preferred to be in PJS reading a book, and drinking my cheap wine out of my tumbler with a holographic pug and yellow shades on it. Downloaded Disney Plus to reminisce and watch the Marvel movies, but I was watching old Hannah Montana episodes and Sweet Life on Deck and it just hit me how cringe everything was. It's very nostalgic don't get me wrong but it definitely hit me, I'm too old for this stuff. Having someone at work be a total douche to me and then me defending myself, which eventually led up to him calling me a bitch to someone in a text conversation and then posting it on social media. The man was in his late 30s. Huge eye roll. My younger brother started speaking in memes. I know Reddit memes, but that's about it. It's actually kinda SD to feel like an old and out of touch with current culture at 21. <laughs>